Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I've got something in here that a lot of you guys have actually been asking for. Um, something that can augment what you can do with your smartwatch and give you all kinds of capabilities. And this can do it. And it's brand spanking new. It's a a, uh, what you call a chest strap basically that you can uh, strap on and wear and connect it directly to your phone and to your watch if you have like an android watch to get some really valuable data now what's really impressive about the visual beat heart rate monitor from well you besides the uh really great price 70 bucks oh and by the way i'm going to give you a little special treat uh, 15 percent off of that and anything else in the uh, well you catalog here in just a minute but what's really impressive about this you can see it right on the app in the uh, phone you have your heart rate which is what these bands normally do but you also have ecg all for 70 bucks usually these bands themselves are just they're over a hundred dollars to tether to your uh your running app, uh, Strava, run, 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 Runtastic, whatever it's called, the, uh, the different uh, exercise apps that you've got. Well, this one can do all that too using the Ant, A-N-T technology, and it can do Bluetooth tethering as well to its own restrictive special uh, app. What's it got going for it? Yep, we're going to get in it. I'm going to show it to you. Visual Beat is not only the wearable heart rate tracker, it's specially designed for your workouts with deep, ECG monitoring. So take a look at what we've got here. Uh, information for you to know. Um, you have automatic monitoring and record to save your heart rate in the app. Up to 10 sessions every 30 hours can be stored in the band itself before you transfer it and up to 24 hours for each session. For the ECG, that's heart rate now, you can automatically monitor in the device and the app, manually record and save it in the app, 30 seconds to 30 minutes for each session of ECG capture. So if you've got one of those heart things going on that just is intermittent um, and you have a hard time catching it, this might be an option for you to take a look at what's going on. And, I'm really comfortable with Wellu because these guys run their stuff through FDA listing. And um, because of that, then there's been an extra level of, well, let's just say, uh, look and see to make sure that, that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, share a sync with a single tap. You can, um, of course, get your information, sync it to your app, and share the records for further analysis by a health professional if you want. Uh, and of course, just archive it for yourself. Uh, see how intelligent your fitness sidekick is. Visual beat measures more nuance with the comfort of the soft strap, compact design body and stabilized secure buckle. So it's really meant for something you can wear for an extended period of time, whether it's overnight, I guess, in bed or uh, while you're out uh, exercising. Here you go. Connect your visual beat to your Ant Plus compatible device or equipment, such as smartwatches. The Garmin supports that. Check your heart data anytime and uh, anywhere without your smartphone when you have it connected that way. Or, of course, with Bluetooth, you can connect it. And it can do both simultaneously. All for 70 bucks. Oh, excuse me. Less than 70 bucks because you're going to get a discount. You want to know how you do that? Let me show you. I brought my pen right here on the back. You got the web address for Wellu, getwellu.com. If you do this instead, go wellu.com. Is that an M? I think it's an M. Go wellu instead of getwellu.com. I got you 15% off of everything in the store, including this one. Just use GoWellU.com to get to Wellu.com, okay? GoWellU.com, 15% off. And it helps me out here at Smartwatch Ticks, of course. And we can keep getting goodies like this coming in. Let's take a look inside. Are you ready? We open a box. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, no, it's the puzzle kind of a box. Okay, how do I do it? 
There it is, a magnetic lip. It's so embarrassing when I get something like that. Obviously, I haven't been in it yet. We just took the plastic off. Quick guide, we will go through that. Oh, look at this, and a one-year warranty for it. Please contact us for assistance if you need. Having difficulties? Nice, there's a service team on staff ready for you. Yeah, these guys are doing it right. And they're doing it at the right price. This is the kind of stuff you see for $300 equipment. And uh, wow, very nice. Before the first use, please charge it. It's that small. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is the right. So when you put it on with this facing out, does that make sense? If you're holding it on you, this will be on the right-hand side. Here's where it's going to snap into stuff that's probably in the box. Let's see what else is in here. Take the card out. Okay, here we go. We've got the charger. Wow, this is a different. All right, look at that. It uh, snaps in place. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yep, yep. Makes contact, USB, charge it up, and it's using one of the two snap connectors to hold it on, so it's not going to fly off anywhere. We have got the strap itself in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Okay, here's uh, the plates apparently. And this is, we take this off of here. Should just snap off. Yep, okay. And this, I don't know if one side's up or down, all these things to learn, but this should just simply snap on here and snap on here. Okay, it would be right like that. This will make contact with your body and you're good to go. Once you've got it charged up, just adjust the band. No, no, I am not going to show you my hairy body. Uh, I'm not one of those beautiful models that are on TV or on the ads. Um, you, you can use your imagination that I'm that handsome guy with the ripped uh, abs and all of that. Wow, okay, you have got a bag full of these connectors. And my presumption is on these, correct me if I'm wrong, will you? Uh, because I can use the strap directly, there's nothing to attach here. If instead I want to put these things on and attach this directly to my body under my left nipple, I think is generally where you do it. We'll see if there's a picture for that. You put a couple of these on, peel it off, stick it on, and I guess you could use it a couple of times until the sticky goes away, and then you just throw them away. And you can use plenty, plenty more. It just comes with a bunch of them in the bag. And that's everything. Now let's do the quick start, guide you through this, then we're actually gonna set it up and I'll show you the data on the watch or on the phone uh, so you can imagine that it's hooked up to Uncle Ticks. Okay, website, GoWellU.com. Remember that one, GoWellU.com to get your discount on this. It goes exactly to the same place. It just is embedded with a code that gives you 15% off. Um, download, here it is, the VI Health app. That's the one we're going to be using from the Google Play Store. Not a medical device. Shouldn't be used for medical condition. That's important with all of this stuff. Even if you got really one of those super expensive uh, things, they're still going to tell you, don't use it for medical advice. You're never supposed to self-diagnose. Let a doctor do that for you or your health provider. Do not use it in the following locations when exposed to all these things. There's the main unit. Here's what the uh, lights mean. This is why we scan the manual in case you're having trouble and you've lost your manual and you wonder what orange on means. Well, this will tell you, okay, the LED indicators. Before your initial use, you definitely want to charge it up and make sure you got good contact between uh, the device and the base and it should glow orange. Yeah, that's what it said over here. And there's the charging contacts that you put the charger on. And definitely for this one, charge it all the way up so you know you got a good, good charge on it. When uh, you wear it to start working, here you go, you attach it to the chest strap. Now we flip it around. Moisten the electrodes on the back side of the chest strap. So if you tend to be dry, 
yeah, moisten those. If you sweat a lot, if you're going to be exercising, it's probably going to get moist anyway. And there's the hands. There's Mr. Tix. You've always wanted to see me, huh? Look at that chiseled face. What a guy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no wonder that. And never mind. I, my fantasies. Um, there's the band. Okay, it goes right in the middle underneath your sternum, but above your pico. <laughs> Where the strap is shown and so forth. I'm just going to let you read the rest of it um, because it's basic manual stuff. Get you three pages in there. Well, two. That should be able to freeze frame that. And then the last bit are the specifications. Good. I didn't have that on the other sheet. Size and weight. And look at that. It's using Bluetooth 5 and compatible with 4. Uh, lithium ion battery. 48 hours of typical use. 2 to 3 hours to charge it. Oh, I think that's good to know. Um, up to 30 minutes for each session. And heart rate recording. 10 sessions. 30 hours. Up to 24 hours for each session. Wow. Then the data will be overwritten with new data and so forth. Um, okay, app for Android, um, and um, we're good to go. It looks like there's app for iOS as well, right? Yep, for the iPhone. So you can use this with either an iPhone or an Android, which is really, really cool. Let me get ready, get myself all strapped up, and uh, let's look, look at at least some of the output that this thing can produce for us few more things to go over with you. Yeah, these little goodies uh, are separate. You use one or the other, but not both. And here's the picture. Once you put the stickies on, you can put the unit right uh, along your sternum. Or in this case, it's showing it uh, along your collarbone, just down from your collarbone over your heart area. Those apparently give you the best readings from the Wellu device, okay? They're disposable use electrodes for the visual beat designed for this particular thing. All right, now, when you put the strap on, I want to go over a couple of things. You probably know about straps, but just in case so you don't break it or... Uh, or get it too tight. Uh, the electrodes are going to be on the back side, so the little silver parts are going to be pointed forward. You could attach this ahead of time if you want to. It really doesn't matter uh, which side I believe that it goes on. I'm putting it opposite the little loop side. And then what I'm going to do is put this around my waist, bring it all the way around, and attach it, okay? But before you do that, I want you to see this hook. Look how fragile that is. It's plastic, and it would be really easy to snap if the band is too tight, okay? So what you're going to want to do is take this side of the band, follow where I'm at, and open it up so that you can pull it almost all the way through. Even if you're a small person, you might want to start this way. Get it way, way back there. And after you wrap it around yourself, you're going to be inserting this in like that. And that's where the tension is. So if it's really, really tight, you'll be putting a lot of tension here and here. And over time, it could give you a problem. It should fit you snugly, so it's not going to fall when you're jogging or running or sweaty. But it shouldn't be so, so tight that it's, uh, it's pressing really hard against you. So I'm going to strap myself up, and uh, we're going to explore the app and transfer some data after I accumulate it for you. So when you put the chest strap on, it basically automatically begins reading your heartbeat. And the little green light on there is pulsing. It's mostly green, but it goes off on each heartbeat. Um, wearing it like this. And then when you take it off after a few seconds, it'll automatically stop detecting and will uh, archive that session to be transferred to the app, which looks like this. When you go in, you're looking for the Vi Health app. Again, in the show notes down below, I've got a link to um, the Google Play Store where you can download it or you can use the QR code. However you get there, you're going to open the app. And upon first opening, and later I'll go back and start it over and show you how easy it is to connect. Upon first starting it, you get it connected. Now look at all of this. It's bringing in last night's uh, readings because I wore it to bed last night and this is all the stuff I messed around with yesterday so I got 22 hours 28 minutes 25 seconds no 
There you go. T two minutes, 22 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes, five hours and 53. Oh, I touched it. Is that the one I wanted? No, I want this one. Look at this. This is uh, five hours, almost six hours worth of time wearing it last night. And uh, this is the heart rate chart that I get for that whole session. So I was a bit wrong when I told you that it's like 30 minutes per session. You can literally wear the thing all night. And what's fun is you can expand this thing out and it's telling you the time into the process, not the, the clock time, but that uh, this was four hours and some odd minutes into when I started this. I don't believe it's 4 a.m. I don't think it's tracking a clock but you can go in and mess around with this and zoom in on different peaks unfortunately you can't touch it and you don't have a gauge here to tell there's 30 there's 120 that's my lower threshold and 150 is what I set for my highest and it won't record over 210 if you're in AFib or something like that that's the highest it'll go but you could estimate in here maybe they'll update the app and add a little bit more uh, definition in here so you can uh, see clearly. Also, I want to point out something, probably not on this one, but there's a, a chart down here says motion. And of course, this was in bed while I was sleeping last night. So there's a couple of little tick marks, a little change in heartbeat. And that might have been when I rolled over or got up and went to the bathroom or something. But you basically have your overall uh, heart rate chart to see how you're doing staying in a, in a zone. And again, I don't have a feel for the lower levels other than it's well above 30 and uh, what my range is here. Uh, it's all color coded. I'm in the green the whole time. I didn't go any higher in an aerobic condition. And uh, my highest was 109. That tells you kind of where I'm at on that peak. And the lowest was 59. Uh, as far as my resting heart rate while I was sleeping. You can um, tap this thing, write a note to explain, and it'll show up here, you know, last night's sleep time or something, whatever you want. And you can export a picture of all of this stuff too. That is uh, this type of a chart, which are these uh, archived uh, session uh, diagrams. Then you have these other kind here, like this that have a little uh, squiggle on it, a heart rate like squiggle. And I'll just show you that one quickly. When I come in here, these are the actual ECG charts. This is a recording and these are every minute. And this was a seven minute test. So my first one, and I, I called it climbing stairs because that's what I did to test it out. It shows you the heart rate uh, from the ECG, and I believe was up along minute five, six, yeah, here we go. I'm, average heart rate was 99 on um, the fifth uh, minute, and I guess it is clock time from 10.07 to 10.08 a.m., I believe, yesterday. Number four, I was at 81. Here is 99. See how much closer they are together. And then the next one, I dropped down to 75, and it shows you the chart. Now, let's uh, take that one a little bit further spread apart. If I touch it, I can expand it really big so that you can kind of see a little bit more of the fine stuff. If I touch it again, it goes down to a really small chart. So you have three levels. One, two is the average one, and then three of amplification. It gets real noisy here because they're too close together. But... Uh, you just want to get an overall feel for it you've got it right there so that's the analysis when you do one like this i can hit that magnifying glass and get you a really nice chart and if i touch it nothing happens but it does show you the key at the beginning one millivolt is right up to there uh, and if you wanted to analyze any particular wave you can scroll into it Problem is, I don't have a time axis on here, so I can't really tell you when that event occurred um, directly from here. But if it's uh, important enough, I'm sure you can figure it out by counting through. And here you can see it's in the one, two, three, third line down um, where this stuff was happening, whatever that is. All right. And of course, you can export this as a PDF. And that's all in the history uh, section. Uh, which is your first tab. So 
These are my readings over time. These are unopened ones. These are ones that are direct uh, results of recording an ECG. And these are total session uh, re recordings of the heart rate going through it, but without the ECG information. When I go to the dashboard, here's where it gets fun. Now, it live is recording uh, or is bringing in the data uh, happening in my uh, chest right at the moment. This is the heart rate as calculated by the distance between the peaks divided by time and averaged out, right? So my overall heart rate is nice. It's a big figure. I could set my watch far, fairly far away and see this uh, clearly what my heart rate is. It's showing me in the green zone, my targets, which are settable, um, uh, 120 and 150. If I'm above that, the band will vibrate lightly and I'll know I've entered my training zone, for example. If it goes above 150, it'll vibrate loudly or strongly. Uh, this will change colors, and then I know I'm in my anaerobic zone if I've set it for that. So pretty darn cool. This will just keep on going. I can't really change or move this. Uh, I can amplify that uh, to be a bigger chart or the smaller chart. Not the great big chart, but if I want to see more detail, I can make the pulses look uh, bigger than, than that. Okay, And I can hit record. And if I do a recording, which I'll start right now, it ticks off the seconds. It's recording the ECG chart. Uh, the heart rate stuff is still going on, but this is all about ECG. And roughly, you saw in the one example, we had seven minutes worth. And so we had seven little circles, each one being one minute worth of ECG time in a continuous recording. And I believe this is the part they're talking about. The maximum session length is 30 minutes. But the overall uh, recording of your heart rate uh, data that you saw in the complete um, chart uh, was unlimited in time. Mine went all night. Okay, I got about 41 seconds. I'm going to hit stop. It's saving it. And it's transmitting that from the band, I guess, back here. Or maybe it already had it. Go back to history. And here's what we just recorded right here on the chart. I can turn it sideways, I can magnify it, I can add a note, I can send it out as a PDF. All of those things are capable. So that's the dashboard. Then you can go into settings. Here's where you can set your target, like I mentioned. You can do a device update and you want to check that to see that you've got the latest version. Um, I'm currently running on a 1.2.0. Factory reset it if you want to. Here you have heartbeat sound. Um, this visits the website, you know, of their products. But again, I, I encourage you to use GoWellU.com instead of GetWellU.com because the same place, but you'll get 15% discount when you check out if you enter in using uh, GoWellU.com. But this will get you there. You have a help center and an overall about. And finally, let's turn the sound on. Whoop, that's my slider for my brightness control on here. Uh, so I have to touch it to the edge of that. There we go. Now I come back here. And if I turn the volume up, I could give you a heartbeat. And I can make it fully max. So you could strap this on the elderly person, someone uh, convalescing in the other room with a virus or whatever, uh, just have them wear the strap. It's comfortable. It's easy. It uh, goes for a long time. You could have this softly near you. Keep the phone nearby as long as you're within Bluetooth range. You could hear the beats. You could check the heart rate and you can kind of keep an eye on the ECG chart. If anything is abnormal, you have the phone, the patient, the person uh, doesn't even need to be a participant. They could be asleep. You just simply come over, you know, hit record, record a section of that ECG, and then you have what you need to discuss it with your doctor. On the other hand, if you're a world-class athlete and you're really trying to improve your performance, work on your recovery time, work on your endurance, and know the nuances of uh, health management, this band can augment that. Okay, I'll stop it. It is annoying, isn't it? Um, I go over to settings. 
I think it's still in the, there we go, and shut that off there. Uh, if you're a performance athlete, you really are probably already know a lot of this stuff and you can see how you could work with these segments of recordings for certain aspects of your interval training or whatever um, to give you feedback. And remember that this band not only syncs using Bluetooth to the uh, Vi Health app that's from Wellu, but it also uses the ANT Plus technology so you can hook it to whatever device you're currently using that you have your own band for or if you haven't bought a band for it uh, garmin watches use it i'm not sure if some of the other um, amaze fit or, or uh, galaxy or, or any of the other we've reviewed does but if you guys know uh, which watches will support the ant plus uh, technology then this band will be able to send the uh, signals directly to uh, that device and to apps that support uh, connecting via ANT+. All right. Wow. Okay. So what? It, once again, what we're looking at from Wellu is a brand new product called Visual Beat. It is a, a band. It's a wearable. I know we're smart watch ticks, but we cover fitness bands and even wearables like this. It's a uh, it's a chest strap, basically, and also a little piece that can stick on you with suction cups that will track your heart throughout your training or your recovery through illness. It gives you readings on your heart rate with charts that show you your progress over time and your ECG, electrocardiograph, sometimes called EKG, uh, actual heart wave that can be recorded, uh, printed out or saved as a PDF and uh, sent to your doctor or your trainer or wherever you want. How do you get it? Well, you go to Wellu, go Wellu, G-O. W-E-L-L-U-E, GoWellU.com will get you there uh, and you'll get a 15% discount if you use that link because that link is, uh, is tied into a special I negotiated with them to give you guys a little extra benefit, you know, from coming in by watching our videos. GoWellU.com. All right. Thanks for watching, gang. Got more coming from these guys too. Some other new products have come out, so be sure you check their website. We'll see you again soon. I just got some great news that this original charging connector that snaps in place and is a little bit fussy to get off has been completely redesigned and everybody's going to get a brand new alligator clip style where the pins will be inside. You simply line it up, clip it on. Make sure it's connected and you'll be charging. Now, this is a simulated one. It's not the actual one for this unit, but it shows you what it's going to look like. Uh, they will rush out a alligator clip charger for any of you that have this old one. Just go to GoWellU.com and uh, ask them for an alligator clip uh, to replace your current charger and all of the new ones that are shipping will have the alligator clip designed for easy on and off charging awesome huh one last thing to tell you remember when you have it activated there's a big green light that shines on it not all that bright unless it's nighttime so I found out that if I'm going to go and sleep with this puppy I'm going to take a little bit of black tape electrical tape just slap it over there and it'll hide it nicely. You get a dull, soft glow coming from behind it, but not the bright green light. Haven't found a way to turn it off yet. Also, um, if you can put it under your clothes and go outside, especially at night, you might have folks asking you, how come your chest is blinking green? <laughs> Same thing. Just slap on the little electrical tape before you go, uh, you know, or make sure you wear thick clothing and you won't be attracting some strange looks. Okay. Hey, where, where do you get this again?